It is very interesting to listen to the comments you get from people. Because many people are unaware of the reality that Jesus can help them to do all things that they want to do. Listen to a comment. The Sabbath was never given to the Gentiles. It was given to the Jews. That's what happened at Mount Sinai. It is important to rightly divide the word. You can never keep the Sabbath. Now, this person is right. They can never keep the Sabbath. We can never keep the Sabbath on our own. We need Jesus to help us to keep the Sabbath. And that's why he said in his word, you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. Now, if you, if you decide that you're not going to keep the Sabbath, you're not listening to the Holy Spirit, you do not need the help of the Holy Spirit, then you are right. You can never keep the Sabbath. But for those of us who understand that whatever we do, we need Jesus' help. We need Jesus' help and Jesus promised to help us. He promised, he said, I will be with you always, even unto the end of the age. So I want to encourage somebody today. Whatever you want to do where Jesus is concerned, whatever he asks you to do, you can do it if you truly, truly want to do it because he will give you all the help you can get. He will give you all the help you need so that you can do what he asks you to do. God never commissioned us to do anything that he's not willing to help us. When he told Daniel to stand up, he was the one who helped Daniel. When he told the three Hebrew boys, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego to stand up, he was the one who helped them. When he told Esther to go into the king, Esther told Mordecai, you know, the king haven't called for me. If I go, I will die. It was God who helped Esther to go before the king. It was God who helped Mordecai to stand up and do not pay homage to Haman. So, my friends, if you're taking God out of the picture, yes, indeed, you cannot keep the Sabbath. You cannot obey God, full stop. But if God is in the picture, you can do all things. The other, the, the other thing I want to mention here is, a lot of people believe that the Sabbath was given to the Jews. But that is a big lie from the enemy. That's a lie. Friends, the Sabbath wasn't given to the Jews. When God created the Sabbath, he didn't, there was no Jews in existence. So listen to what the word of God said in Genesis chapter 2, verse 1. He said, Thus the heavens and earth and all the hosts of them were finished. And, the, and on the seventh day, God ended his work which he had done. And he rested on the seventh day from all his work which he had done. In verse 3, Then God blessed the seventh day, sanctified it, because in it he rested from all his work, he had created and done. So, God made the Sabbath in Genesis chapter 2. My question to you as you listen to this program, where was the Jews? Who were, who were in existence at the time God made the Sabbath? Friends, if you read the Bible and you read it carefully and you divide it carefully, you will come to understand when God finished <clears throat> making the world and, and establishing the Sabbath, there was, no, there was no Jews. There were no Gentiles. <clears throat> so, you're right. God did not give the Sabbath to the Gentiles when he made it because they, they were not in existence. But he made it for them. There was no Jews in existence when God made the Sabbath. But he made it for them. God made the Sabbath for all of us. In the book, in the New Testament, in the book of Mark, it say, the Sabbath was made for man and not man for the Sabbath. In the book of Mark, the Sabbath was made for man. Who is man? God's creation. So Adam and Eve were the first man and woman, the Sabbath was given to them. 
Nobody talks about the Sabbath was given to Adam and Eve. But the devil is fooling many people. And they come up with this idea. Oh, the Sabbath was given to the Jews. Well, before the Jews came about, Adam and Eve was in existence. Why don't we talk about the Sabbath was given to Adam and Eve? Friends, you and I can do all things through Christ who strengthened us. If you want to obey God, he will give you everything you need to obey him. Don't be fooled by the devil. Don't be, don't be fooled and, and, and be deceived and confused by the enemy. God can strengthen you to obey him. Will you obey God? He's counting on you. He's counting on you to open up your heart and say, Lord, I need your help. Come in and, and do it for me. Do it with me. God will do it for you, my friends, as you trust him. As you trust him. As you trust him, God will do it for you.